Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, November 25th, 2014, and we're honored to have with us Tiny Moving Parts. Tree Live with Tiny Moving Parts. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for coming out. And when you're ready, just go into your next song. Sure.
Audio Tree Live with Tiny Moving Parts. Yes. Uh, so the video for that song is awesome. And especially the shot from the top where you guys are flipping into the pool. I would just, maybe if you could talk about it a little bit. First of all, what instruments did you use to get wet? Like are those, like all the ones where you're under the water or like when you're flipping in, are those just old instruments that you found or did you go buy them somewhere? Yeah, like, yeah. Like uh, we just use like our friends like shitty instruments that okay, they don't yeah. play anymore. Yeah. Uh, like the guitar I use, I just asked my brother who doesn't really play guitar anymore. I'm like, hey dude, hey Mitch, can I borrow your guitar for a music video? He's like, yeah, sure, just just take it. But uh, then when he watched the video, he's like, oh, holy shit, you like broke my guitar. Yeah, you dude. totally <laughs> you ruined my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty great. Uh, did you guys like? How many times did you have to take the um, like the diving board scenes or whatever? Like, is that a long process doing a video oh, like dude. that? Yeah, that was fun because uh, we just kept like getting out of the pool, like just like we we're just doing circles. Yeah. Okay. Out. The tiring part was the underwater scenes. Yeah. Because yeah. we'd have to like go under, and we were just like sitting there, like <laughs> trying to keep ourselves underwater for the longest time, and Dylan was trying to like sing yeah <laughs> and billy was waving his arms billy had weights around him yeah though. billy had oh, like 10 did? pound weights like <laughs> tied to his like legs yeah. so he was like sinking down and trying to try to play to the song and he like had to take breaths every like 10 seconds get back up for eric because he's like dude i'm dying dude. seriously I can't do this, it was yeah. so funny so wait, like they, trying to play drums underwater is kind of like the same as swimming so like yeah I just kept going up <laughs> yeah so wait so they had weights that they gave you or that you brought and so you sank did you sink pretty quickly then or you just hop yeah. in and or okay yeah like the drums were at like the the deep end of the pool yeah right so on. it was also like way harder to stay down anyway because okay. of the denseness of the water sure but yeah once we tied a weight to my back like it was pretty easy to stay down <laughs> it's kind of like really hard to get up though right? yeah they started with 10 pounds and like after doing it once i was like i'm gonna switch to five like yeah. i can't even swim <laughs> <laughs> that's like near drowning <laughs> stuff. That's like you've just created somebody else's nightmare. Like, you know, having weights yeah. attached to you at the bottom, having to drum. It's like a bad dream, you know, where you show up to school naked or whatever, that kind of thing. <laughs> so, uh, thanks, you guys, so much for coming out, seriously. And you can go into your next song. <laughs>
Audio Tree Live with Tiny Moving Parts. So I'm from Northwest Iowa, like right on the border of Minnesota and grew up going to Minneapolis, you know, and that kind of area. So I'm familiar with the region that you guys are from. I'm curious if you could have a podcast, like a Tiny Moving Parts podcast about something Minnesota related. Um, what do you think it would be? Or North Dakota, I guess. Oh. Right, that corner. Uh, I would probably talk about Coen Brother films. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right on, yeah. dude. Are you a big fan? Or like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. yeah. Very love, big, like Fargo and yeah, oh, yeah. No Country for Old Men are like my favorite movies. Cool, so, yeah. sweet. Others? I agree with Matt. Yeah, Coen Brother films. That's always <laughs> fun to talk about, you know. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna talk about the Fargo series. That's the same answer. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, right on. <laughs> You're nailing the same ones. I guess we really like uh, cheese and meat. That's just Midwest. Yeah. Right? Yeah, fast yeah. food. That'd be a good one. Okay. Yeah. Just the mid. Minnesota fest. Do you have a fast food joint that you're into? Like maybe Minnesota specific or not necessarily? Uh, like there's this one in Fargo, North Dakota, and Moorhead, Minnesota. It's called uh, Grand Junction. Okay. It's like the greatest hot subs ever. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's we good. got Taco John's in the Midwest. Oh, yeah, dude. I know. Yeah, so Taco good. John's. Potato <laughs> like those Potato Olays. <laughs> they got like the cheese you can dip it in. That's pretty good. What's like the combo thing? What's the, the big box at Taco John's? What's that called? Oh, Ooh, shoot. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, you can get like a box there that in college there's this one, like I went to a tiny school. Six and pack and a pound? Yeah, six pack and <laughs> a pound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah. It was always the goal to eat like three of those. If you could eat like a six pack and a pound times three or whatever big like, guys. You huge know? like food coma afterwards. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> that's just like near death. There's no way those ingredients are good for your insides. You oh, know? no, no way. No, it's <laughs> terrible. Sweet. All right, you guys can go on your next song. <laughs>
Tiny moving parts on Audio Tree Live. Yeah, anyone that needs to do switching, just go ahead and take okay. it away, man. Yeah. Um, I would like to know for you two and all three of you a little bit about Thanksgiving. Um, are are you Thanksgiving food fans in the first place, or kind of indifferent? Uh, it'll be really nice to have home cooked food. Yeah, right when for we get real. Home from the tour. Yeah, because a lot of times you guys are on tour, right, during holidays yeah. and that kind of thing. Uh, uh, yeah, like it's cool because we'll get home for Thanksgiving and. You know, we've been just stocking up on fast food for the last year yeah. and a half. So yeah. get home and having like turkey and like mashed potatoes will be really good. Sure. Is there a specialty of mom, dad, or whatever that's like always something you look forward to? Uh, oh, not my, not my, me. My aunt Brenda's yeah. left says pretty good. Okay. I mean, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else really. I mean, Lefsa. <laughs> Lefsa. <laughs> For Thanksgiving, beautiful. Okay, so what about traditions? Any traditions? They don't have to be odd, but just something that you do like each Thanksgiving. Does one of you have a, a part of the meal that you cook, or do you just get to sit down and eat what they've made for you? We don't cook. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, no. no. Yeah, honest cooking. Uh, nothing, there's nothing too traditional, I guess. Yeah. We, sp we spend the holidays together since me and Matt are brothers and Dylan's our cousins. Yeah. So. We'll probably eat some turkey together this week. Yeah, sounds good. Will you will, will you do any, like, when you're on your breaks, do you appreciate that time to, like, never touch your instruments? Or will you be practicing at that time? I mean, I don't know. Like, we still practice all the time when we're back home. Um, yeah, usually when we're off tour, um, we just wake up, like, at noon, go to their house, start playing for, like, Play a few for hours. A <laughs> then we watch, like, a crappy horror movie and drink Mountain Dews and, like, then, then go home, eat supper, and then just... You know, just hang out. Start then it we over. play Halo. Then we play oh. Halo. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's like the Halo weekly 3. routine for us. That's like a normal day. Did you see that they, they just released that package so yeah. that you have oh. all yeah. of them? And yeah. I heard that you can switch the graphics on them. So you can have, especially for the first one, you know how they they released like a revamped graphic version. So if you yeah. want the cheesier one or like not the cheesier one, the original one, you can play it that way or you can upgrade to the smoother version of it. I'm excited to play that when I get home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you can do that with voice commands as well. Oh, so you wow. can have the original voice guy or, like, the second voice. That's what? That sounds that's great. Cool. So that's your insane. weekly routine is going to rule. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. back. Anybody has that, donate it, please, to Tiny Moving Parts. <laughs> you guys can go to your next song.
Audio Tree Live with tiny moving parts. My revamped answer to the rock question is, I think I would because I've read an interview with him between talking to you and now that makes me think he's a really nice person. So I think he'd pull back. So he'd go in, and I think right at the last second, he'd pull back just a tiny bit. I mean, there's no loopholes in this. <laughs> okay. He has to, like, full force punch you in the face. Yeah. What if, yeah like, you really got him angry, though. Yeah. You got him really angry. Okay. I guess if... Then no. I'm still on no. <laughs> <laughs> he does it. Okay, so uh, a few things to say. Pleasant Living is out now. It's awesome. Please support the band by getting it, listening to it. They're doing a tour. There's a little bit left mid-December, a few dates you can see them. And then they're on a European tour starting in the middle of March. Um, and it should be awesome. So to follow that up, I just if you guys have any goals in Europe or like a city you really want to see or maybe a food group you want to try, something you've thought about with the European tour? Um, I mean... Our goal as a band in general was just to tour as much as we can. So, like, even the fact that we're going to Europe and stuff is, like, beyond a goal that we ever, like, tried to accomplish. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're just happy for everything going on. I mean, I don't know. Is there any other things you want to do, Bill? I don't know. We're just really uh, – we can't wait. Like, we yeah, literally dude. can't wait to, like, go to every city and screw around and stuff. So. <laughs> it starts in Amsterdam, so that's cool. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think uh, – uh, St. Patrick's stays right before it, and we might go to Ireland. Right Dang, before, dude, so. yeah. yeah. Like before the tour and celebrate St. Patty's Day over there. Yeah. That would be awesome, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that is like the goal, you know, getting to getting to see Oktoberfest over there or something like that. So since you're <laughs> yeah. there during merch, that's awesome. All right, uh, you guys can roll into your last song when you're ready. Comprehend how many times that I have tried it How many times 
Audio Tree Live with Tiny Moving Parts. Pleasant Living is out now. Check them on tour in December and again in March. Thank you guys so much for playing, seriously. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thank yes. you. Yeah, so much here. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Robin Surratt and Goose Island for awesome beer hooking us up. Thank you so much for the Imperial Stout and for letting these boys have some too. Uh, thanks to Dictator Cabs. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers hooking it up. Camera and lighting crew making it look beautiful. And viewers, thanks for watching. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah.